Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today. We're going to talk to you about a trade we just got in. Now, this is a very unique trade. This is the first one that I have seen since I started with Beckley's back in 2001. It is a 2003 Safari Trek, model number is 20, 2630. Uh, very unique, but we're going to go through this one. For any more questions on this particular RV or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. But let's get on to this Safari. So as you can see, this is a full body paint. Now you're going to notice some things that are kind of unique on the front here, folks. You're going to see this one has a Jaguar grill here. This is a Jaguar grill right here. And then, of course, this is a Toyota grill. This gentleman bought this coach back in 2003. This has the workhorse chassis, meaning this has the 8.1 Chevy engine with the Allison transmission. Now, he's done a couple of things to improve what they've got. He was having the transmission was kind of heating up when he was down in the Arizona area. And basically what the... Um, what a workhorse tech, uh, the engineers at Workhorse told them was that he did not have enough airflow going through there, so he added those two grills, and that solved that issue. The other thing he was having, he was having a heat issue on the inside. I'll go through that, but what he did was he took it to an aerospace type uh, place, and he had them soundproof it, insulated the uh, firewall so that that reduced the heat and the sound for the driver's area. So as you can see, you have the uh, two-piece windshield there. And by the way, a workhorse, this is the, like I say, the, it's the Chevy 8.1 with the Allison transmission, and that thing will outrun a Ford, folks. Um, fuel mileage is gonna be a little bit better, but uh, by having the Allison transmission makes for a huge difference, and especially on this small of a coach. This has Michelin tires on them. Now these Michelin tires were put on uh, in 2013. And you can see full body paint. Has a nice big awning here. You have the extensions on the wheels here. You have the extensions to the inside. Uh, tire, which is critical, folks. For those of you that maybe have had dualies before, you know what I'm talking about. Now, there is a little bit of uh, scratches right here on the back cap, the full molded fiberglass back cap. And I don't know if you can see the scratches. Looks like he scratched up against a fence. Let me just go on the other side, because I think there was just a couple scratches on this side as well. And there were just a few scratches on this side. As you can see, I hear that have the generator running, very quiet. This is a 50 amp, uh, this is set up as a 50 amp service on this particular coach. Let's go on the inside and take a look at what we've got here. So as you see, it has the electric steps as you come out. Let's go on in here. Now folks, this would be a perfect coach for a couple that want something short um, and then would like to have the comforts and convenience of the larger motorhomes. Let me uh, move to the back here. and I'm gonna give you kind of a look of what you've got up front here. So you're gonna say to me, well, Paul, there's no bed. What are we supposed to do there? Well, there is a bed, folks. The bed is up in the ceiling there. And what you're able to do here is this bed will come down and will, um, be over top of those front seats right there. You see you have the curtains, the privacy curtains there. Now they upgraded this sofa. This sofa is electric. So it'll, it'll go ahead and um, uh, get up out of the way. And actually the, so, the, the uh, bed actually comes down. You can see the, the cabinets on this side. So it's going to be down just about to that level uh, to make it pretty easy for you to get in. Let's go up and take a look up in the front. As you can see, this has leather seats. Really, the only carpet you're going to see in here is the throw rugs and the carpet around the dog box here, as we call it. As I'd mentioned, this is the workhorse chassis. This has 48,000 miles on it. It does have a leveling system. 
You have a CB radio, you have a brake controller on here, your backup camera. Of course, you know, the old style TV. As okay, so you see that's that old style TV. You see you have the little pull out shelf for the passenger seat here. Of course, you barely hear the generator. This thing is very well, um, very well insulated. See, this one has the electric awning, folks. It does have a wind speed uh, on there mode, so you can set it so you can have it on or off, and you choose what you'd like on that. Let me show you looking back through the coach from up here to see what it looks like here. Now, you're going to notice this gentleman here, when he bought it, he had him take all the carpet out and put in this laminate flooring. This thing is in very, very nice condition. It is hard to find these folks, so if you're looking for one, this one will not last very long. As you see, you have the Euro recliner here with the ottoman. You've got some storage space here. You've got a little table that uh, folds up right here. You can see, of course, you have the dinette table as you're coming back through here. Nice kitchen. And of course, this is the solid surface countertop. And look at the backsplash, folks. I mean, you know, it's actual tile on the backsplash. Room for the coffee pot. As you come back into the bathroom, as you're going to see, you're going to have lots of storage. Nice big mirror. Try to keep myself out of that mirror for you guys. Plenty of space. You do have the um, porcelain toilet and a nice good... So as you can see, really good size shower in here, has a skylight, you know, look at the roof, the roof is, it's a padded ceiling, so it's going to be nice, it's going to be mice, much nicer insulated and a little bit quieter. One other thing I want to show you out here, folks, is your control center. So this is your control center, this is where you're going to control your heating and AC. This does have water tank heaters on it. Uh, of course, check your house batteries, check your tanks. Of course, as you can see, um, you can check the state of your batteries. It does have the charger already on there. And this one does have an EMS. Um, it's a, this way here, if you plugged into, um, let's say 30 amp, it's gonna manage your system for you. So that way there, you don't have to worry about throwing breakers and so forth. So I appreciate you watching. This is Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my page if you want to uh, keep up to date on some things. i got a lot of great things coming down the pike. Comment as well. And if I could help you uh, with anything, please do uh, give me a call. My information is below. Thanks for watching, and we'll come back at you again soon. Take care.